Day surrounding the death of Jonathan Minard. Deputies made an arrest. Yeah, that major development happened shortly after a grand jury indicted a man on more than a dozen charges. Bob Jones was there as the suspect was taken into custody and spoke with the boy's family. The family of Jonathan Menard has been waiting for this day for nearly five months. News of an arrest and that someone could finally be held accountable for the death of a boy described as happy and helpful. Hopefully we get justice. Hopefully justice will be served. I mean, it's been almost five months now and we just want we want closure. Shortly after a grand jury indicted Matthew Little on 15 charges, deputies arrested him this afternoon. This new spy video shows him being escorted into the Carroll County Jail. Jonathan Menard's relatives say in April, Little picked up Jonathan and took him to a farm in Washington Township to help milk cows. But when the boy didn't return home, family, friends and strangers spent days scouring the area for him. It ended tragically less than a week later when his body was found buried in a shallow grave on that same farm. The coroner ruled the case a homicide and said Jonathan died from acute fentanyl intoxication. But questions remained. Did someone give the boy the dangerous drugs or possibly inject him? Relatives say Little was considered a family friend, but for months they suspected him in Jonathan's death and they believe Little buried the body. Part of it makes me happy, part of it makes me sick. I mean, just walked in there like nothing, you know, like it was nothing. And it just, I don't know, it just... Just makes it just makes me sick just to see him. More details on the investigation are expected to be revealed tonight when the prosecutor and the sheriff hold a news conference in Carrollton. Bob Jones, News 5.